What's going on everybody? If you use Adobe Lightroom, then this video is for you. I wanna talk about the features you might be missing out on. Let's get into it. All right, if you are like me, you tend to stick with what you know. And for me, that was the Lightroom mobile interface that I use on my iPad. But did you know that there are features on the desktop version that you might be missing out on? I'm sure there's a bunch of features that are different from the app to desktop, but these are the features that make me use the desktop version. A lot of my projects might start on my iPad, but they end on my desktop because of these features. And with that being said, number one is fine adjustments that you can make on the desktop. For example, if I'm adjusting color, all I have to do is hold down my option key and select whichever color that I'm looking to adjust and Lightroom will only show me the color that I am adjusting. That helps. You can use these tools in the same way for finding overexposed or underexposed areas and that's something you don't exactly get with the mobile app, though you do have your waveform that you can read off of. Defringe is another one. This is one that I don't use often, but it does come up. Defringe is not found on the app that I have found anyway. On your desktop, all you do is scroll down to optics. You'll see the defringe option there. From there, you can dial in what color your fringing is and eliminate it with just a click. One of my favorite features that can be found on the desktop is the AID noiser. Th this is actually the feature that made me hop back on the desktop to figure out what can, I, what can I do. I had a photo shoot, I had to shoot in some pretty high ISO ranges, a lot of grain. This thing knocked it out, amazing. Uh, didn't, didn't work on every photo, but it, it got me by. It saved the shoot for sure. If you are a low light shooter and you don't like carrying a flash, this is a feature you might want to check out. In Lightroom, just scroll down to the Detail tab. You'll see Noise Reduction and then you'll see Denoise. This isn't ideal for an entire shoot if you were shooting in low light because it does take somewhere from 15 to 30 seconds per photo, but in a pinch, this can be a real lifesaver. When you click Denoise, it's going to generate a preview and you have a couple of options. You do have denoise here at the top and the amount that you would like to denoise. But if you de-click that and click super resolution, and I didn't want to tell you anything wrong and I wanted to figure out exactly what's going on with the photo. So I did go to Adobe's website to see what exactly is going on with this super resolution. And the website says super resolution helps create an enhanced image with similar results as raw details, but with two times the linear resolution. This means that the enhanced image will have two times the width and two times the height of the original image or four times the total pixel count. And that is amazing all by itself. Personally, I've never had to use it, but I do love knowing that it's there. And a place you're gonna see some of the biggest changes is with the masking. The Lightroom mobile app gives you the options to select people and your sky. And those work fantastic, but the desktop version gives you a couple more options. The desktop version will let you select the background. And it even goes one step further than that, individual objects. And if you just give it five seconds, it can select individual people in the photo for you. No more trying to just brush one person or selecting your, your people and deselecting one of them. It, it just does it. This is actually a feature I knew about, but I, d I don't mind the workflow that I have on my iPad, but this is quicker, a lot quicker. All right guys, those are some features that I found on the desktop version that I kind of wish I had on the iPad. Did I miss anything? What do you like on your desktop version? Or do you like the mobile version better? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the things that you're supposed to do and uh, it's been fun, I'll see you.